A lot of people are wondering if this is true. If all of the data and videos that I've been posting could just be a false narrative, where is the real hard evidence, people ask? The real hard evidence of voter fraud, of the vote switching program, Hammer and Scorecard, was recorded by the federal government in a sting operation that coordinated the Department of Homeland Security and the election officials in states across the country. They knew that the Dominion voting system was controlled by a group of deep state operatives within the Democratic Party. They knew that they had lion's shares of investments in these programs and that they were gonna use the program. As a matter of fact, they knew that they were using it in Florida in 2012. They saw it being used in the primaries to elect Joe Biden over and above Bernie Sanders. Approximately 500,000 votes switched from Trump to Biden in this election. This is not a software glitch, people. This is a massive theft. How do we know this? Well, what you have to do is you have to analyze the raw data. And these raw data dumps from the election come from this data source. For those of you programmers out there that like to work with MySQL and would like to create a nice little diagram of before and after election fraud, you're welcome to dive deep into that. I'm gonna show you a website tonight that's already done that fairly comprehensively and has done a hell of a job. All of the links are being blocked on social media. So it appears that hundreds of thousands of votes were slip, switched from Trump to Biden via this con software control system of the voting machines. And this was done in real time. This is what was described as hammer and scorecard. And it was done during election night and it was why the footage was caught live on the screen. And that's what you looked at in some of the past videos. This also explains why election counting was slowed in swing states. Why, why is that? Well, it, they had to allow the election theft to be coordinated and executed simultaneously. And so they had to slow the counts and they were slowing it digitally. They were slowing the updates so that they could coordinate because some of these states, Trump was winning by so much, they couldn't just flip the whole state over it. They had to delete a lot of votes as well. You'll see that. So this guy, uh, Petty and Petty Inspector explains how he wrote a script to detail all of the instances of votes being lost or switched from Biden to Trump from this statistical data source. Now, who uses this data source? The author claims that this data is from Edison Research and it is the same data that is used for election, election coverage by at least ABC News, CBS, CBN, CNN, and ABC News. Now, I want you to share this clip because I'd like those naysayers who actually have DVRs and have recorded ABC, CBS, CNN, or uh, NBC that recorded it that night to go back through and look, look first of all, look at, find this website. I've, I'm gonna provide a, a link in the description. Make sure you save it because they'll probably delete it fairly quickly. And what I'd like you to do is grab this, look through the data and see if you can find it for yourself, the data flops. So the, J the JSON feed is a JavaScript feed, a data feed is, is like a transaction log. And the way they would like to compare it is to like the flight data recorder or a black box recorder on a commercial airliner. What they're basically saying, so this is how you would write the script, the actual scripting language uh, in the data file itself, this is how the switches would be made. So this would be like data set one, and then this would be data set two. And this is what they would look like inside of the Excel spreadsheet, so to speak. And here's the source. And anyone that pulls this data will see, will see this tabulated data. This graph shows two updates on voting totals, update 27 and update 28. Now I want to point something out here that a lot of people don't know. 
is 50%, 57% of the votes. Biden J, 0.401, is 40% of the votes. Well, what votes? Of the total of 573,857 votes. Well, these votes are supposed to, are, are cumulative. As the votes come in here, the vote totals go up. But what we're seeing and what happens is Donald Trump's percentage of the vote total actually drops down and Biden's vote totals constantly keep gaining. On top of that, they can actually prove that some of these votes were actually also lost. So an example of this is on Update 27, uh, 573,857 votes were tallied, of which Donald Trump won 57.8%, about 331,689 votes. Now, in an election, your votes aren't going to go down. Your votes are going to go up. Everyone's votes are going to go up. Some are going to go up faster. Some are going to go up slower. There may be one or two instances in which votes might switch. There might be a recount or there might be one county that this occurred in. So if it were a couple of locations around the country and a couple of data feeds uh, in this data feed, that would be reasonable. Now take a look at update 28. Trump votes equals 56.7% of the 574,417 equaling 325,000 total votes. It went down by 5,995 votes. Biden's votes, he gained that percentage. Not all of it, but some of it. And what was happening was in order to, because Trump was winning by such large margins, they not only had to switch his votes to Biden, they had to subtract votes from Trump. And votes were lost in every state in the union. As you can see, votes were taken from Trump and added to Biden. In this case, it was only a few thousand votes, but there were thousands of other vote switch transactions in the logs. Here is a detailed list. And remember, he points out, black box recorders recovered after a jet crash. All the data is intact. We know that this election was stolen over the net in real time. This list is organized by voting systems. And now they're gonna highlight some of the swing states. In Pennsylvania, they recorded 220,883 votes that switched to Joe Biden, Trump lost 941,248 votes. They stole 1.1 1, 1 million votes in Pennsylvania. It's a massive theft. 80,000 were switched in New Jersey. 21,000 were switched in Florida. The list goes on, people. This is a systemic issue across the nation except in some of these areas, Hawaii, Washington, Alaska, Nevada. Kansas, Kansas and Texas used premier, premier election solutions owned by Dominion Voting. And look at this, Texas with another 14,000. What is that? That's 45,000 margin. They switched 15,000 or 14,954, and then they just disappeared, 3557. This went on all across the country. When this gets to the Supreme Court, and here's the key, when this gets to the Supreme Court, we've all heard Rudy speak about this, about the evidence, about taking it to the Supreme Court, so I won't bother you with Rudy and, and Bannon's discussion on the topic. So I'll provide a link where you can look at this yourself. Of course, Twitter's claiming that this is election fraud is disputed. Well, of course it's disputed. It's going to be disputed in the Supreme Court. 
Without the vote fraud, Trump wins the Electoral College by 305 or 307 votes. Now, there is a website, everylegalvote.com. Take a look at it. They do, they actually model the vote, and we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Without vote theft, Trump wins by 307. With vote theft, Biden wins by 308. Fraud has been detected and documented in nearly all of the swing states, which are the states that you see here in orange. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia, Virginia. Let's go down. We're gonna take a look at this data source. Well, why don't, we, why don't we go over there real quick and take a look at it. So in this, in this scenario, if you look at this state, current, the current status is that Joe Biden has 214 and Donald Trump has 232. I'm sorry the screen's cut off a little. With voter fraud, Joe Biden wins. If you look at the data, the raw data, if you t give all of those votes back to Trump, he wins by 305. Here are all the tabulated data, data sources, and you can see them in live time, how they were changed to reflect a winning total for different candidates. And, and any programmer that takes this software and does the same thing and does analysis is gonna find it. And that's what makes it empirically verifiable. And that's the key. It's scientifically provable. So what is gonna be the result of this? The CIA ran the vote theft while Trump and the, and the DOD documented the entire election coup. Yesterday, sources told us that the CIA was in charge of running the vote theft operation with Gina Haspel deeply involved in straight up treason. Gina Haspel, I don't know if you know who she is. I'll show you who she is. This is gonna come out very shortly, CIA director. She is gonna be arrested, she will be disappeared. You will not see her again. This is happening in live time, people. This is happening right now. Let's come back to the uh, source. On election night, President Trump and hand-selected DOD personnel were sitting in secure comms rooms watching and documenting the entire election theft take place in real time. They, they needed to show us what was happening to our nation, people. And this is why Democrats, please, you are our brothers in arms. Black lives matter, all lives matter. You know, gay lives matter. You know, I have gay family, okay? I don't fly a gay flag, but I respect people's personal sexual freedom, even though I happen to be a Christian and, and, and believe in traditional marriage. I'm okay with civil unions and people joining in marriage and having the civil rights that they need in this nation. We don't have to fight about this. We need to secure our nation. This was allowed to take place to show American people the deep state's treachery. But the deep state won't let it come out. They're hypnotizing the nation to, to tear us apart. Big tech and the mainstream media and the CIA are all conspiring. They're gaslighting the nation with the false claims of the Biden vote win even as they all know that the election was stolen via the, the machine voting systems. Obama used it in 2012. We've got the evidence of that too. This is why they're rushing to remove Trump. And let me just add one more thing. The Trump administration, along with Michael Flynn and the NSA, did use IPs from the Russians to hack the Hammer scorecard system in 2016 to prevent them from hacking that election too so that we could get in there, set them up, get the evidence, and show it to the American people. It's time to wake up. Obama's former CIA director practically crapped himself on live TV and damning Trump be immediately removed via the 25th Amendment. That's because Brennan and other deep state actors, they know they've been caught. Trump has all the evidence. In fact, he has a detailed transaction log showing the fog playing in real time. In the coming weeks, this information will be presented to the United States Supreme Court. 
We anticipate the Supreme Court of the United States will invalidate the presidential election. They are probably going to say, now there's two ways to do this. One is to drag it out and litigate it so that the American people can see the process unfolding and trust the process. The other way to do this is to invalidate it in the Supreme Court. The fastest way to get back on our feet as a nation is to invalidate this election. Well, what's that going to do? It's going to kick the outcome to Congress. And what, where each state gets one vote to choose the president. That's right. Republicans have the strong majority in the number of state legislatures they control. And they will easily win the vote. If Nancy Pelosi refuses, she may be arrested. Or maybe they won't even allow her to be present. Trump has just fired Defense Secretary Mark Esper and is cleaning house in the DOD in order to get the Pentagon ready for military arrests of the traitors who carried out this engineered election theft. Hundreds of thousands of people will eventually be arrested and charged with crimes, including conspiracy and sedition, Many of the deep state players who work under Obama are going to go to prison. Obama will not be touched. Biden will not be touched. The top echelon of the Democratic Party will remain intact. Why? Because they are going to have to come back and, let, and they're going to have to play ball and let the American people know it's really, it's really to protect the American people. Because if the big players go down go down there's going to be a civil war and we want to they, they want to prevent that there is going to be an explosion of radical left-wing lunatics and rage and the president may have to invoke the insurrection act and i'm hoping that this video will help people understand what's happening. So as you see it go to the Supreme Court, as you see the ballots being overturned, we are not so shocked by the outcome so that we don't act like fools and kill one another for a group of corrupt politicians on both sides of the fence, people. This is not a one-sided thing. But this may plunge America into significant chaos. I want to remind you of something. The Republicans hold the legislature. They will easily vote for Donald Trump. Be prepared for this. Prepare your friends, prepare your families. If you live next to or near a big city, prepare yourself. Get food for at least a month or two months. Get bottled water, especially in major cities if a tax Hit the power grid, make sure you have a generator or a backup. If you have family out of town in the suburbs, if you see it, go to the Supreme Court and you're living in a major city, get out of the major cities where the rioting and looting will take place. Get out to the country, visit a family member that's a conservative. Now many people are going to think this is a conspiracy theory and, and we're just trying to scare people. Ladies and gentlemen, the data is there for you to look at for yourself. The voter fraud is evident. This is why Mike Pompeo came out and he said very emphatically, it will be a smooth transition to the Trump team because all of the deep state players are on the run. The jig is up. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for listening to this presentation. I will provide the websites in bit, bit.ly links. Please share this video. Get it out there. Study these pages and the data for yourself. If you've got friends in computer programming, have them take a look at it. It takes a nation of citizens protecting their freedoms together. Democrats, Republicans, independents, libertarians, working together to preserve a nation. Let's not be blindsided by the gaslighting of the media in the deep state that has been controlling them for 70 years since World War II. It's time for us to awaken as a new nation, a free nation for the people and by the people. For we the people are the power and united we stand, divided we fall.